like to get into next because you know obviously if you if you spot a problem in your greenhouse and you're able to accurately identify that pest then the next step is what do i do about it and how quickly can i control them some of those life cycles are pretty short um and i know you're going to talk about both chemical and biological controls which is fantastic because in most greenhouses these days both strategies are being employed at different times uh, depending on the severity of the problem as well as combined approaches so I guess, where, where do you want to start when it comes to control? Well, let's start with aphids. So for aphids, there are several biological controls out there in the market, one of which is botanogar, a fungus that eats on the, the insects themselves. You could also use aphidius colmani or chrysopa carnea. The aphidius is a parasitic wasp that attacks the aphids. And the chrysopa is actually a lace wing. They all have good control, but if you have a massive infestation like I showed in the picture before, you're probably going to need to use chemicals first and then come back in with the biologicals. For all of these, the biocontrols are good to keep your populations under control, but they're not necessarily the best option for controlling a massive infestation. For chemical controls, I'd like to use a rotation with multiple different chemical classes, so that way we don't build up resistance with the insects. Some of the chemicals I recommend for aphid per, or control are Empede, Flagship, Endeavor, Mainspring, and Aria. I have listed here on the slide the chemical class that all of these products are in, so that if you want to use other products, in conjunction with these, you can make sure that you're not using the same mode of action uh, with your chemicals to avoid the resistance. Spider mites are typically controlled on biological control with parasitic mites. Hard to believe you actually control your mites with mites, but uh, they're very effective. The Phytocilius persimilis, Amblesius adersoni and the Amblesius californicus are all effective biological control methods for spider mites. Some of the chemical controls that work well are pylon, sultan, avid, fluoromite, and sand mite. And as I go through these, please understand that these are options that you can use and not necessarily the only products that you can use. So if you have experience with something else that works well, just make sure that your mode of action isn't similar to one that we've already mentioned here. Mealybugs, quite the fun little guys. They are easily controlled with uh, biologicals using either Crisopa carnea, which are the lace wings, or Cryptolamus montrezeri. The cryptolamus are actually a ladybird beetle. So you're using both a combination of lace wings and, and beetles for the control of mealybugs. If you do have a bad infestation or an area that's particularly bad, you can use chemical controls. Some recommendations for that are Measurol, Orthene, Tristar, Rycar, and horticultural oils. Now, as you look at the chemical controls, understand that some of these are going to have a long-term lasting effect on the plants and will cause you some issues for your biological controls. So most bio suppliers will give you recommendations of products that you can use and cannot use around your bio controls so that you don't destroy your populations. Whitefly one of your most common point set of issues, but uh, can also be an issue on foliage crops. Some of the best controls for bio controls on whitefly are Incarcia formosa, Eretmosiris eremicus, and Amblesia swirsky. The Incarcia and the Eretmosiris are both parasitic wasps and the Amblesia Swirsky is a parasitic mite. Some chemical controls that work well are Avid, Tristar, 
Mainspring, Contos, and Altus. For thrips control, we have several biological options as well. Aureus lavagatus, Amblesius cucumeris, and Amblesius swirsky. Uh, Aureus is a voracious bug that will eat up your thrips, and the cucumeris and swirsky are both mites, as we discussed before. Some of the chemical controls that you can use are Contos, Mainspring, Measurol, and Overture. And as you look at these chemicals that have been recommended, you'll see some overlap for some insects uh, that it will control both, you know, for example, thrips or whitefly. So your applications can be dual purpose when you're making them. That's that that's great. Great information. I think um, like like we're seeing in greenhouses, there is probably a, uh, a conjunctive approach to this is what you know if i need to use chemicals how are they going to impact my biologicals um and if i need to establish the biological populations uh what, what do i need to be beware of from some residual chemical effects like you mentioned and that's uh that's very very good information and i think what i've learned in looking at biologicals over the last couple of years is that the the biologicals companies have a very good handle on what uh, products, um, what chemical products uh, should be recommended when you're using biologicals. I'm interested in the, the tropical and foliage uh, industry. Are, are biologicals widely used? Is it something that's gaining popularity? What, do you, what are you seeing out there when it comes to, to bios? Yeah, bios are being used quite extensively on the tropical side, the foliage side. Uh, with the longer grow times that we have on foliage crops, establishing a beneficial uh, insect control method in your plants really does give you a lot of, of good control. So I really highly recommend on using bios to start off with, but then you need to keep scouting your crops to see any hot spots that you may need to come in with chemicals to take out. Biologicals are very good for maintaining populations at a very low amount, but once you've got an out of control population, you really do need to go look at the chemical options to target those specific areas. But scouting is the most important thing that you can do uh, for making sure that you get these hot spots under control before they uh, explode into a widespread population through your uh, products. 